I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, and I hope that you are willing to join me for a little art experiment I'm working on. I'm calling it double marbling, and it's the idea of marbling over something you've already marbled, and I'll be using Marabou's Easy Marble Kit just to make my life a little bit easier. You definitely want to make sure to wear rubber gloves of some kind for this process and also work in a well-ventilated area. So one of the really nice things about the Marabou Easy Marble is that it works just with tap water. So I'm just taking a jar of water from my sink and pouring it into this metal pan that I bought at the grocery store. Then the paints are um, easy. You just sort of dip them or dip them. You sort of dump them out into the water and you can see that they land there. Uh, I'm shaking them. I'm not sure that you have to shake them. Then you move it around with the skewer and you'll see that a lot of the paint does end up on the skewer if you don't move quickly enough, which I didn't in this first pull and that's fine. That's what happens. But I'm simply pressing a piece of deli paper down into the water and ta-da! You can see my amazing print. So I'm going to keep repeating this process. Easy Marble comes in lots of different colors. Um, and then again, remember, the more quickly you get to it, the less paint ends up on your skewer, your stick, whatever it is that you're moving around. You got to move fast, but it's really cool. This will also work on lots of other surfaces, many different papers, chipboard, all kinds of things. I've even marbled on rocks. I'm using deli paper simply because it's my favorite material to collage with, but you should experiment and see what works for you. I do know that it isn't permanent on fabric, so it, this does need to be something that's just not going to go through the wash or anything like that. But it's fun and easy and you can kind of just keep going and going and going and play all day. So here's a quick flip through some of the papers that I marbled. So I'm looking at a piece that I marbled and it's fine, but I feel like it could really get sparked up a little bit. So I'm going to experiment with putting another label, uh, another label, another layer of marbling on top of it and hope that the translucent colors are the ones I'm going to go for so that you can still see the under layer underneath this. So I'm just going to dip a portion of the paper. So this is what it looks like with that overlay on it. You can see the original on the right and the overlay on the left. And I do like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip the rest of the paper. Interesting, you can see that I got most of the um, paint up, the marbling paint on the left side, and only a subtle amount is on the right. And I kind of like the subtle amount a little bit more. So let's experiment with that idea. I'm gonna hang this to dry. I'm putting much less marbling paint into here than I normally would. I normally give like maybe 10 shakes of each bottle. I'm giving like two or three. I'm going to see if I can't put the paint a little more dispersed throughout as well. And then we'll see what that does. So here is the original. And I'm going to do half and kind of drift it through to grab what I can off the whole thing. So there you see, there's kind of a distinct line in the middle. I don't love it. And my rule is if you don't love it, keep going. So let me put this aside and add some more paint and see what else we can do. Okay, this time I'm not gonna pull through it. I'm just gonna leave it exactly as it is. So as a reminder, this is what it looks like right now. Not a big change. I didn't use a lot of differing colors. Should we go a little bit more crazy than this or shall I leave it alone? Let's go a little bit more crazy. Okay, so now I have a lot of color contrast. So I think it's gonna really transform this piece of paper now. Just remember, it isn't done until you like it. So if you don't like it, it's not done. Whoa, psychedelic craziness. This is really interesting to me now. I really, I, I like this. So I'm just gonna keep going and experimenting and see what I can get. I think this is my favorite so far of the double marbling and I think it's because I kept it much simpler. I'm gonna try some simpler top layers. Oh, 
I love this one. I really stuck to the same color family and I think it makes a big difference. So here are a few of my finished ones that are now dried. I love this one. I think it might be my favorite. Really works with the two different layers. Just makes the print so much more interesting. Um, this one is cool and very different than it used to be. This one, a little bit messy, but still, I kind of like what's happening. We're in these big pools. It's like you see what was underneath. Almost looks like a turtle to me. Overall, I would say these ones, which I sort of did the layering in, which was the whole point of the experiment, are much more um, complicated than the other ones. They're sort of more layered and stuff like that. Here are some of the original ones, which are pretty, but they now seem to me very plain. And so it isn't a right or a wrong. It's more of a style question. Again, here are some of the originals some of which are more busy and stuff than others. This one could probably use a good overprinting. But I really, really like this idea of overprinting because this seems so much richer than let's say this, if you compare the two of them directly. They're different and it's a little bit of apples to oranges. But I do like the idea of being able to go in and remarble and make some adjustments you know, to how things look, especially because for me, I'll probably be cutting these papers up to use them for collage. So they probably won't stay as they are, but really fun. So I hope you'll give over marbling. I don't know if that's really a word, but give it a try. 